Hi, it's Coach Karen with The Watering Mouth. I am so excited to share with you a little secret that I have that was a complete game changer in my own weight loss and a game changer in the weight loss of my clients as well. You are probably familiar with Dr. Furman's G-Bombs and I know here at least we have all these fabulous what I eat in a day videos showing us what we could be eating. So why is it that we know what we should be eating but we still aren't always eating it or we're not losing weight? Well, I thought back to the beginning of my weight loss journey. I was the heaviest I had ever been and I was super embarrassed about it because being a registered dietitian, I knew exactly what to eat. I was telling others what to eat, but it was quite obvious that I wasn't always eating it. And I remember being in the car one day, looking down and the seatbelt was cutting into my stomach. I was mortified. But you know what? That was the final straw for me and I decided to go from overwhelm to total action. And I spent time figuring this out. And now I share with my clients how to do this and how to fast forward through all of that so that they can lose weight faster. So during this time, I figured out something called high weight loss thinking. And this is going to change your life. Most of us are doing low weight loss thinking. We have thoughts that are impeding our weight loss. It's making it so we're not losing any weight, right? Like we have the cake, we have the boss that's mean to us, we have the family dinners, and we react to them, right, by thinking, I'm just gonna eat something to feel better, or of course I have to try this food that someone made for me, or dinner's not complete without dessert. These are all examples of low weight loss thinking. So what we have to do is sort of retrain our minds. So I want you to share below in the comment section some of the low weight loss thoughts that you have in your life that have made it hard for you to lose weight. And then I want you to think about what thoughts you could start to include that would be examples of high weight loss thinking. Now this is gonna take some practice, right? We've been thinking this way for all of our lives or at least a big chunk of our lives. So this is an exercise. It's like a new muscle we have to build up. We wouldn't expect to have a six pack of abs, right, from doing crunches for a week. Well, truth be told, my husband would probably tell you that after about a week of crunches, I start complaining, where's my six pack? But logically, I know I have to do more than that. So this is a muscle that we're gonna start to exercise together. Every day, I want you to start to notice those low weight loss thoughts and remember, that's just my mind. I get to choose what I wanna believe and maybe start believing and practicing a high weight loss thought that's gonna get you to your desired weight. It works. I now weigh 102 pounds and I've been at this weight for about nine or 10 years. It hasn't fluctuated. My jeans slip on with ease. I don't have to worry about what I'm going to wear and I fear the seatbelt no longer. So if you are ready to take your weight loss to the very next level and you wanna work one-on-one -on -one with me personally to take a look at your low weight loss thinking and how we can change that and change your life and your weight, then please go to www.thewateringmouth.com forward slash nutritarian dash coaching. That'll be in the show notes below and you can click there and apply for a free mini session with me. During this session, we'll take a deep look at what's going on for you particularly and see how coaching can help change your life. Now remember, share those low weight loss thoughts down below and tell me what you wanna start practicing so that you start believing some high weight loss thoughts and your weight starts dropping.